Chapter of Adolescence Finale Well, basically Ang gusto ko lang sabihin ni Shun Kiyu is this He wants to be a trainer, not a jockey. And, well, kumbaga, he proverbially shared his power of talking to the horses with you. Right? So, pagdating na ng final mock race nila, alright. So, Amane is, uh, Amen, Amane is at a blazing start. Ngayon, ang laging behind at this point si silang dalawa, si Yu at si Shun. Then, while the um, while that contemplation sequence was going on, ayun na. Silang dalawa ngayon ang neck and neck going into the finish line. Eventually, Yu wins. So, pagka din ang graduation nila, ayun, presentahan ng uh, diploma, ganun. And of course, the document, of course, the documentary filming is over. Of course, the end credits for end credits for rolling, final scene. So everyone, everyone has now has now settled into their uh, their chosen roles. Of course, you is now a rookie pro jockey. Of course, si Aman and Anton then. Si Shun, of course, uh, uh, chose to become a trainer na lang. Si well, siya talaga na ibe. And of course, yung gumiwalay si Hayato is now in veterinary school. Okay? So, nakikilig ngayon si Shun sa sa, what's it called? Sa maiden race ni, ni Yu bilang jockey, bilang pro jockey. So, sinabi na niya, time, time to go, so parang ganito sinasabi niya kay Yu, time, time to get a blazing start, Yu. So yun, parang naramdaman, naramdaman na lang ni Yu yun eh. And pa! Off the gates! Off and running na. Excuse me. So, Bigo, mga uh, ka-lifestyle, huwag na natin patagalin ang review na to. Let's break that, let's break that finale down now. Pretty sub-style. Face! There! There were a bunch of explainer sequences in this finale. Up to the seventh mock race, yung sa katapusan nun, hindi... Hindi masyadong tension pacing eh. Pero you have, the, you have those feels that you are actually watching a sports anime Yung pacing niya kasi ganun eh Yung neck and neck battle uh, Battle between friends and rivals Parang ganun, ganun yung dating ngayon ng, 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 ng huling mock race So, do I have complaints? No? Kasi Keep in mind guys This is not Phantom of Adolescence isn't just a sports anime. It's also a slice of life anime. So, kailangan balansihin ng ladus yung pacing na pang sports anime at yung pacing na pang slice of life. So, coming into the um, coming into the final mock race, syempre may mga kanya-kanyang kanya-kanyang uh, kanya-kanyang moments yung mga yung mga lead characters dito. Especially uh, the main protag, si Yu. Of course, binisita niya yung yung puntod ng nanay niya. 60% slice of life, 40% sports yung pacing ng, ng finale na to. So, okay lang. Uh, this, anime, this anime serves both genres naman eh, really well. Flow naman. But, I only saw two gear shifts here, guys. First one was yung um, was that scene nung na, sa puntod ng nanay ni Yu yung nag-usap sila ng dalawa ng manager niya well, why did I call us a gearship? kasi dito talaga nag well, sort of open up yung manager niya for one thing well she's probably proud of her um, of her protege na uh, probably for proving her wrong alright and for that, na realize na well, her her boy has grown up, has grown up to be has grown to be a man na, and can now man up to himself. The main product has come to terms with uh, with his past, and of course being thankful to the one that nurtured him when he was an idol, 
Amen. Salamat din siya doon. So, this probably gave him motivation to uh, to beat everyone else in the set, in the final mock race. So, final gear shift was yung time na was actually the explainer sequence between you and Shun. Why did I call that a gear shift? Well, the two main protagonists have finally come to terms with each other kasi sinabi na rin ni, ni Shun dito na he plans to become a trainer instead of a jockey. No brain of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi, umaga, dito mo makikita pagiging, pagiging magkaibigan ng dalawang ito. They are, they have leaned on each other's strengths and weaknesses to uh, to reach their respective goals. Yun na nakikita ko sa gearship na to. It's just as profound as the first one. Tandaan nyo, slice of life anime din ang fanfare. It's not just a sports anime. It's not just an anime about horse racing. Nope. Hindi lang yun. So these two gearships that I saw, Definitely, okay? Panoorin nyo lang ang dalawang gearship na to, maiintindihan nyo na ang finale. Plotwise. <clears throat> Very profound yung mga explainer sequences. Okay? Bottom line. So, malinis pa rin ang plot, bigo, mga ka-lifestyle. You can't ask for more eh. Dahil, hindi lang, as, as I said a while, just a while ago, it's not, Fanfare is not just a sports anime. It's also a slice of life anime. Tandaan nyo, the lead characters are adolescent. They're, they're just teenagers. So, yes, they will be experiencing growing pains. Eh, lalo ngayon, estudyante sila to a, to a, wow, to a, to an ultra-exclusive prep school where the curriculum revolves around the sport of horse racing. Sa akin nakakita ng ganong prep school in real life. Wala! <laughs> Which makes the overall storyline of this anime unique. And, oh, kung, kung lalagyan nyo pa ng backstory dito or side story, as usual, masisira ang plot ng episode. Lalo na ngayon, finale. No, it's out uh -uh, Out of the question But side story, back story Explainer sequence, fine To further uh, to, to bolster the understanding of the viewer It's a clean plot guys What more can you ask for? So pace, flow, and plot They all came together for this finale folks So Fanfare Adolescence Finale No brainer Do the job First and foremost Thank you Lay Deuce For giving us a For giving us a wonderful anime Right This one And Birdwing Are so far the two best sports animes this year In my own opinion Ang um, Main quality kasi ng anime na to is its, is its slice of life feels. Right? Kasi we, we are dealing with teenagers here. They are future jockeys, but they're still teenagers. They still go through the same growing pains as any as any teenager would. Nakita natin lahat yun dito sa anime na to. And of course, yeah, yeah if, you're, if, you're a, if you're a fan of sports animes, you will have your feel with this one. It's all about the sport of horse racing. Alright? Kaya, I would personally recommend this one to um to uh, to any sports anime fan. Okay? Kaya, again, thank you, Ladus, for Fanfare of Adolescence. Sana, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not totally expecting another season from this one kasi I strongly feel that this anime is over. Alright? I'm not, I'm not expecting uh, another season. I'm not expecting a season 2 from this anymore. Talagang, yep, uh, this anime storyline is over and done with na. But, yeah, if you want to, if you want to watch it again, guys, go ahead. Right? You won't, 
You won't get bored. You won't get bored. So again, oh, again, again ako ng again. For the final time, Fanfare of Adolescence finale. Two thumbs up. Final two thumbs up for Fanfare, mga ka lifestyle. Wow. Looks like we'll never see another horse racing anime again. Yun ang nararamdaman ko dito eh. So, Bigo, wait for my next upload regarding the uh, the other finales we're going to feature right here on, yeah, right here and on YouTube. And for those of you who are still stuck at the CHD, pampihira naman kayo. Gumuradoy na sila Yotsune. Nandiyan pa rin kayo. Ano ba? <laughs> Uy! Well, you leave me no choice but to just watch you chill over there. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.